dear students let us learn about division of fractions you have learned about multiplication of fractions through an activity now let us learn about division of fractions through an activity take an simple example 1 divided by 1 by 3 here 1 is the dividend 1 by 3 is the divisor One should be divided by one by three. Now, while dividing, write the dividend as it is. That is one. Write the reciprocal of the divisor. That is, change the numerator and denominators. Then multiply. Reciprocal of one by three is three by one. Now you know the multiplication of fractions. 1 into 3 is 3 divided by 1 that is 3 now why should we take the reciprocal of the divisor and multiply let us learn this through an activity now 1 should be divided by 1 by 3 means how many 1 by 3s are there in 1 How many one by threes are there in one? How many one by threes are there? See now. See now. One one by three. Two one by three, three one by three. So how many one by threes can fill? One. There are three one by threes in one. So. One divided by one by three is equal to three. So this can be written as one into three by one. That is three. So one divided by one by three is equal to one into three by one. That is three. This is how practically it looks like. There are three one by threes in one. So one divided by one by three is equal to three. Let us see another one. One by two divided by one by four. How we have to do this? Take one by two. How many one by fours are there in one by two? How many one by fours can fill one by two? See here, one, two, one one by four, two one by four. So there are two one by fours in one by two. So one by two. Divided by one by four is equal to two. This can be written as one by two into take the reciprocal, interchange the numerator and denominator. Four by one. Two and four are divisible by two. Two ones are two two zero. That is is equal to two. So one by two divided by one by four is equal to two. Under understand this correctly so that division of fractions becomes easy for you. 
Now, 1 by 2 divided by 1 by 3. Take 1 by 2. How many 1 by 3's are there in 1 by 2? 1, 1 by 3. If I keep 2 1 by 3's, it becomes little longer. I think half of 1 by 3, yes, half of 1 by 3 is there in 1 by 2. See, half of 1 by 3 is there in 1 by 2. So, uh, how many 1 by 3's are there? 1 and half. 1 and half of 1 by 3's are there in half. There are 1 and half 1 by 3's in 1 by 2. So, 1 by 2 divided by 1 by 3 is equal to 1 and half. 1, 1 by 2. Let us do this now. 1 by 2 into interchange the numerator and denominator of second fraction. That is into 3 by 1 is equal to 3 by 2. If we change into improper fraction to mixed fraction, change the improper fraction to mixed fraction. That is 1, 1 by 2, 1, 1 by 2. So 1 by 2 by 1 by 3 is equal to 1, 1 by 2 or 3 by 2. This is how we have to learn division of fractions practically. Now let us do without using fraction strips. Now you understand the concept. Now understand the theoretical part. 3 by 4 divided by 5 by 6. We have to keep first fraction as it is. Now take the reciprocal of second fraction. Then multiply 3 by 4 into 6 by 5. Now 4 and 6 are divisible by 2, 2, 2, 0, 2, 3, 0, 3, 3, 0, 9, 2, 5, 0, 10. So, 3 by 4 divided by 5 by 6 is equal to 9 by 10. Take the next example. 6 divided by 4 by 5. 6 we have to keep as it is into. If you are changing to multiplication, then Take the reciprocal of the second fraction that is 4 by 5 becomes 5 by 4. 2 2 are 2 3 are 3 5 are 15 by 2. It is improper fraction. We can change into mixed fraction like this. Divide 15 by 2. 2 7 are 14. 1 remainder. Now start from the quotient. 7 1 by 2. So 7. 1 by 2. Do the third one. 6 divided by mixed fraction 2 1 by 3 first we have to convert mixed fraction into improper fraction keep the division sign as it is first convert mixed into improper 3 2 are 6 plus 1 that is 7 by 3 now while dividing take the reciprocal of the second fraction then multiply that is 6 into 3 by 7 6 3 are 18 by 7 we can change into mixed fraction. 7 2s are 14. 2 remainder. Sorry, 4 remainder. So, 18 by 7 is equal to 4 by 7. Do 
do fourth one two by five divided by three so two by five into reciprocal of three for three there is no denominator if there is no denominator means it is three by one reciprocal is one by three so two by five into one by three that is two by fifteen do fifth one two one by three divided by five two by three now first convert into proper fraction then perform division seven by three divided by three five are fifteen plus two seventeen by three Now seven by three into take the reciprocal interchange numerator and denominator that is three by seventeen three one zero three one zero that is seven by seventeen is the answer.